Suicide Prevention Lifeline, toll free at 800-273-TALK. That's 800-273-TALK. All of us are here to help. Your local radio stations are here for you. No subscriptions or monthly fees necessary. We're here to give you the news, weather, and traffic you need and the music you love. But if the foreign-owned record labels get their way, it could stop the music. They want Congress to force radio stations to pay them more money simply to play their music. Don't let radio go silent. Text LOCAL to 52886 and tell Congress to protect local radio stations. This message furnished by the National Association of Broadcasters. You're from the Central Illinois, W-H-O-W. Top of the morning. Thanks for being with us. I'm your host today, Seth Lawrence. The W-H-O-W Morning Show is streaming to Facebook and YouTube. It's brought to you by Peterson Insurance, your Pekin insurance agent in Clinton. In this segment of the morning show, we're joined by Jerry Johnson, the executive director of the Decatur Area Arts Council. A good day, Jerry. How are you, sir? I'm doing great in spite of the weather. Absolutely. Staying dry, I presume. So, so it's far, uh, so good. Yeah, coming down out there pretty good. But, uh, Jerry, we always appreciate you making time for us. And let's dive into Decatur Area Arts Council. I know that you uh, wrapped up. We were catching up a bit on this off the air a little bit. Uh, the summer exhibit on the history of the circus in central Illinois. That was uh, quite a popular exhibit from the sounds of it. How did that go? It, it went great. We had an, about two months, June and July, we have a summer exhibit. Uh, this year, we decided to do something a little different, and uh, Jamie Foley, our gallery director, focused on the circus and its connections with Central Illinois. People are not aware that uh, uh, not just Decatur, but uh, primarily Bloomington and Petersburg uh, were uh, hubs of circus activity about 100 years ago, mm-hmm. and uh, it's, it's really uh, some amazing stories, and that's why we called the exhibit circus stories because we had art and artifacts from the circus but it was really more about those stories about those people and the lives they lived very good so sounds like things went well folks enjoyed it you mentioned those are always you know kind of popular exhibits along that that historical theme especially if it connects to central illinois correct right uh during COVID, when we were, well, we traditionally have a two-month exhibit in the summer, and sometimes it focuses on a different country or a different culture. Uh, this year, it was circus. Uh, we had planned to do one during COVID, and we had a, t- a tough time trying to figure out how that was going to happen uh, to bring in art and artifacts from the surrounding area. So we focused on the history of Decatur itself, um, the last 50 years of Decatur's history, primarily the, what people who are still living would remember. And that was very popular. People just really enjoyed kind of coming into the gallery and reminiscing. Very good. So uh, t- talk to us, Jerry, about what's going to be in the gallery next. And it sounds like things kick off on Friday. So tell us about this. Right. We have our first Friday gallery walk coming up to kick off our next exhibit in the gallery. It'll be a month long exhibit of artwork by Douglas C. Johnson. Doug Johnson is the executive director of the McLean County Arts Council uh, and Arts Center, but he's also an extremely accomplished painter. And he's been a landscape painter for more than 30 years and shown in galleries all over the area, the, the region, uh, the Midwest. And uh, he, he kind of focuses on uh, right now as a landscape painter what we all see every day. Uh, and it's interesting, and you'll see in his paintings, you get a sense of his passion for the Midwestern landscape uh, in the way he handles his design and his, his layout and his color palette. Uh, it's just really fun. And he brought his paintings down yesterday. Uh, Jamie Foley, our gallery director, hasn't got the exhibit hung yet. Uh, but he brought everything down, and we were looking at them as they were spread around the gallery. And I told him that it's just amazing how different it is to look at these paintings in person than it is to see an image online. Mm-hmm. Um, they just don't do the work justice when you just t- look at a photograph. For sure. So look forward to that. That opens on Friday, and uh, I, I think that testimony on its own, Jerry, should entice a lot of people to come out and check it out. Well, I certainly hope so. Uh, Friday uh, at our gallery at 125 North Water Street uh, from 5 to 730. It's a free reception. And Doug will be here himself will be here. The artist will be here. Uh, If you want to ask him questions or learn a little bit, get a little more insight into uh, his approach and uh, what appeals to him about uh, painting Midwestern landscapes. Very good. So look forward to that. Anything else on that exhibit uh, coming up through the month of August, Jerry, that we didn't touch on? 
No, that pretty much covers it. We're open Monday through Friday, 8.30 to 4.30, and Saturday, 10 to 2. The gallery is open for free. Mm -hmm. If you happen to be downtown, you can just stop in. Uh, that evening, on the 5th, from 5 to 7.30 during the first Friday gallery walk, not only will our, will our gallery be open, but Blue Connection, which is a Millican University student-run gallery, will be open. And then around the corner, uh, Gallery 510, which is a, a gallery and a consortium of local artists, we'll have uh, an evening open that as well. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. So put that on the radar. And, you know, Jerry, I, I know we were going to maybe save this for later on in the interview, but uh, I'm, I'm looking at your newsletter, which, by the way, uh, let's highlight that real fast. The newsletter uh, went out uh, either yesterday or this morning. Uh, talk a little bit about the newsletter just briefly and how folks get signed up for that. Great way to stay connected and know what's happening at the Decatur Area Arts Council. Right. We send out... Um an e-newsletter. It's an, an email with all the upcoming activity uh, at the Arts Council, as well as lots of reminders about uh, local arts activity, not just Arts Council, but throughout the community. Uh, and the easiest way to sign up to receive that, which we send out usually, the it's probably the Tuesday before the coming month uh, is when, when I try to get it out. Uh, you can go to our website, decaturarts.org, and scroll to the bottom and it says subscribe to our e-newsletter and just type in your name and your email address and hit subscribe and we'll add you to that list and uh, each month you'll receive a copy of the uh, the e-newsletter and it, as I said it's going to have everything you probably want to know about what's going on with the Arts Council as well as uh, local arts activities. Easy enough. So, uh, Jerry, let's dive into I, I'm, I'm looking at the newsletter now, and usually this is where I go to kind of keep tabs on on where our conversation heads. But uh, like I said, I, this was something we were maybe going to get to later on in the interview. But uh, the you mentioned the Midwesterner, the gallery, uh, the the uh, display that will be up at the Anloyd Gallery here this month. Uh, if, if school groups want to come out and check this out, I know that it's been a little slow the last few years with COVID, but you're hoping to ramp those back up in the upcoming school year. And, and as schools right around the corner, speak to that a little bit. Yeah, we offer uh, uh, field trips, basically, gallery field trips. And uh, the, any group of children or adults are welcome to come. Uh, and you can come to the gallery, and uh, there is a fee for your group. It's $100 for a group of up to 20 people. Uh, and you'll get a guided tour of the exhibit that's in the gallery. It could be this month, could be next month, uh, could be next summer. Um, but you'll get an exhibit through the gallery with one of our instructors, uh, and then they'll talk to you about what you're seeing there, and then go up to our uh, Barnett Art Studio and create some hands-on artwork based on what you experienced down in the gallery. It's uh, usually about uh, an hour to an hour and a half experience for if you t come for a field trip at the Arts Council, and you can just sign up or give us a call uh, to learn more and uh, just go to our website, decaturarts.org, or give us a call at uh, 217-423-3189. Sure. When it comes to those those groups that come through, Jerry, are, are you guiding them? Are you speaking speaking to them about what they're seeing? Uh, you know, or or is it kind of a self guided uh, deal for those for those groups? What uh, do you mind speaking to that a little bit? Sure. We have one of our art instructors uh, who will be here. That they they usually spend uh, a few hour, several hours. Um, becoming acquainted with the the particular exhibit each month, making notes uh, about what they find interesting and what they've learned from the artist. And so they'll tour the group through the gallery for about a half an hour and talk to mm -hmm. them again about the artwork they're seeing and some of the uh, design and art elements uh, that are unique to this particular display. And then uh, everybody will go upstairs to the art classroom and create a project based on that. That's usually about an hour long up there. So the whole uh, field trip is about an hour and a half. Sure. Very good. So uh, if if uh, groups are interested in that, Jerry, how much notice do you need? Um, you know, and, and are there, you know, limited times on when groups can be there? How about some of those details just quickly? Well, of course, uh, as much advance notice as possible is always good so we can be prepared for you. But uh, it, it's by appointment only. You can't just drop in. Uh, as I said, there's a fee uh, up to 20 people for $100 for your group. And uh, usually it's Monday through Friday between 9 a.m. and 4 p.m. All right. Very good. So be a part of that if interested. Jerry Johnson is the director of the Decatur Area Arts Council, our guest on the phone here for this morning. And Jerry, if you don't mind, do you want to talk about uh, the art fall classes and availability online? How about that? Sure. We just posted uh, a bunch of classes that we've got lined up for the fall. 
Uh, we have a series of classes for adults that will be on Thursday evenings, and those are going to be a lot of fun. Uh, most of the, I think there are three of them, and one is uh, decoupage work along with a couple others that are painting classes. Mm -hmm. One in September, one in October, one in November. You can find out about those on our website, decaturarts.org. Um, we have some Saturday classes, uh, September, October, and November, uh, for family groups. So uh, they're rec classes that are recommended for ages six and up. So you can come down with your kids or your grandkids uh, and have uh, some fun creating artwork. There are a couple that are uh, that are kind of sculpture related, uh, creating small sculptures, uh, and then another that is a, a simple painting, landscape painting. Uh, in the style of Vincent Van Gogh, so mm -hmm. that should be a lot of fun. And then uh, we have another dr uh, intermediate drawing workshop for ages 10 and up, and uh, that's, I think it's primarily focused on charcoal drawing, so you can uh, develop some skills uh, with that medium, and that is in October. And then another thing that we've been doing for several years that have been, has been really popular is that we offer a series of classes for homeschool kids, on Mondays in the afternoon, uh, starting in September and running through November, and uh, they'll learn all kinds of different uh, techniques and work with different media, uh, working with our instructors, learning about uh, famous artists and their and their masterpieces. So uh, those are homeschool classes, a whole series. I think there are eight classes, September through November, uh, in the afternoon on Mondays, and then after. Uh, the same the same collection of classes is offered for after school for those kids who aren't homeschooled but are still looking for an opportunity to learn more about art. Uh, we have the, those classes offered on Mondays uh, at 4 p.m. instead of 1 p.m. All right, very good. So be a part of all of that again, Jerry. Where do folks go to get signed up for those? Easiest way to go to our website, decaturarts.org, and, and click on the Classes and Programs tab. Very good. Any other classes and programs you want to highlight this morning, Jerry, before we get to break? Well, we continue to offer ballroom dancing. Uh, we started that this summer, and it's been very popular. Uh, people are interested in taking a, a series of four-week series classes. Uh, they're on Thursday evenings at 7 p.m. starting September the 1st. We don't have a series in August, but we will have a series in September, September 1st through the 22nd on Thursday evenings at 7. Again, go to our website, decaturarts.org, to learn more and to sign up. And very good, Jerry. I'll tell you what, let's take a break here and we'll come back and talk some more about all the things happening at the Decatur Area Arts Council. Jerry Johnson, Executive Director of the Decatur Area Arts Council, our guest on the phone. More to come on the WHOW Morning Show. WHOW. Illinois Agriculture. Let's check the markets now on the RFD Radio Network. I'm Jim Taylor. Corn beans and wheat trading lower. September corn 596 down 11. December corn down 12, 597 and three quarters. March corn 605 and a quarter down 11 and a half. August beans 1587 down seven and a quarter. September beans down 11 and a half, 1420 and a half. November new crop down 19, 1387. September wheat 781 and a quarter down 19. December wheat. Down 17 and a half, 801 and a half. August bean meal, 489, even up $2. August bean oil, 6541, down 82 cents. In the livestock market at this hour, August live cattle, 136.85, up 7 cents. August feeders, 179.70. That's up a nickel in August lean hogs, 120.15 down 30 cents that's a look at the markets on this tuesday morning jim taylor rfd radio network getting your pets needed medications is easy with covenant animal clinic in clinton yes very convenient especially because i live in bloomington it always gets delivered right to your door i've used the online pharmacy it's so easy click the covenant animal clinic icon at doitdailynews.com to learn more doitdailynews.com is the area's leading local news source 24 hours a day seven days a week get the latest local news, obituaries, police blotter, weather forecast, and more with no paywall. Head to DeWittDailyNews.com to get the local information you need to know. The Future of Fertilizer Tour is coming to Farmer City on August 3rd. Pull up a bale and discover how bio-based Simtrex XP gives you more with less. Plus, like any good farm-mannered hosts, we'll pull up a bale next to yours so we can chat. 
you'll get the insider scoop straight from the experts on how Field Ready Simtrex XP is evolving the industry. Register at FertilizerTour.com. Your friend in Central Illinois. W-H-O-W. Once again, a good morning. Thanks for being with us. I'm your host today, Seth Lawrence, and the WHOW Morning Show is streaming to Facebook and YouTube. It's brought to you by Peterson Insurance, your Pekin Insurance agent in Clinton. Jerry Johnson with the Decatur Area Arts Council is my guest on the phone here for this morning. And Jerry, let's uh, piggyback off of the, the discussion we just wrapped up on uh, classes and programs within the Decatur Area Arts Council. And you were telling me in the break that a lot of these are are based on visual arts although there's you know a very uh, very uh, much a diverse type of uh, classes as well offered around the community talk about that with us right uh, the arts council offers most of the classes we offer are visual arts based there are other groups in town uh, that offer classes that uh, have a, a even a little more varied uh, like the decatur park district has a lot of classes for kids who are interested in the performing arts mm-hmm. uh, dance music uh, and theater, as well as Millican University has a growing program called the Community Arts Academy, and they offer a lot of classes for kids and adults who are interested in music and theater. Mm-hmm. So those are some great opportunities. And even the Macon County Conservation District offers some classes. Uh, they have a great partnership with the Decatur Camera Club, so they often offer classes that have to do with photography. Uh, so you could check out those at their website as well. All right, very good. So yeah, check that out. And uh, just a lot of uh, varying uh, ways to uh, to be a part of the arts in Decatur as well. Uh, Jerry, let's dive into a little bit uh, the calendar of events, and let's speak to uh, coming up later this month before you and I will catch up again. Trivia night. I know we caught we uh, touched on this back in July. Talk about trivia night with us. Sure, uh, we had a fundraising. We had a fundraising event. That uh, getting a weather alert <laughs> on my phone. <laughs> um, we had a fundraising event in February, a trivia night, and it was extremely well received. People had a great time, uh, and uh, it was to raise money for the Arts Council as well as to uh, give people a way to connect to the arts in the community. And we are decided to do another, and it's Saturday, August 27th, from 6 to 10 p.m. at Richland Community College in their Schilling Center. Uh, it's ten dollars a person or eighty dollars for a team of eight, and the people can uh, have a lot of fun with an evening of questions and hopefully answers, uh, along with games and raffles and prizes and things like that. So uh, it's it's always a lot of fun, and the categories are not too st- stressful, uh, kind of pop culture and and uh, whatnot related. There's not going to be any math, for example. Uh, <laughs> we don't want to frighten people away. So that's going to be a fun evening on uh, Saturday, August 27th from 6 to 10. And you can uh, sign up now um, both uh, through our website or our Facebook page uh, for the trivia night uh, on uh, August 27th. Very good. So uh, be a part of that. Uh, Look forward to it. Do you designate, Jerry, those fundraising dollars for anything specific? Does it just go back into the general fund? How do you handle those? Most of it is for our general fund. Uh, We have programs uh, that uh, get support. from specific channels uh, so that uh, uh, there is a need to have general uh, operating funds, and that's what our fundraisers are for. Very good. So uh, be a part of that. Again, Jerry, how do folks learn more? How do they get signed up? Decaturarts.org, our website, is the easiest way to find out more. Uh, You can always give us a call, uh, 423-3189. You can also find uh, most of these events that we're discussing, both classes, uh, exhibits, fundraisers, you name it, on our Facebook page, facebook.com slash Decatur Arts. Very good. So check that out. Again, Jerry Johnson, Executive Director of the Decatur Area Arts Council, is our guest on the phone here for this morning. Calling for artists. It's already time to start thinking about that holiday gift shop, Jerry. I know we're in the early days of August and going to be hot in the next few weeks. But uh, again, that holiday shop is already being thought about at the Decatur Area Arts Council. What's going on? Yep, you always have to plan ahead. And uh, we just put out a call for artists who would like to sell their um, original art or fine crafts in our annual holiday gift shop. Uh, our gallery usually has art every throughout the year, 
but in November and December, we change, switch our gallery over to a gift shop. And the artwork that the artists bring to sell, giftable items, um, does not, they don't have to be holiday themed, just anything that you've created uh, that you would like to have the opportunity to try and sell. Uh, we invite you to contact us about being involved. You can go to our website again to find out more about that. Um, we'd like people to sign up before September 30th so we can start planning that. Uh -huh. uh, there is a nominal fee to participate uh, and a small percentage of the sales goes to the Arts Council. So uh, if you've uh, already been uh, involved in the exhibit, uh, there's a good chance that we're just going to have you fill out the application and go. But uh, if you haven't been involved, we prefer that you give us a call uh, and talk to Jamie, our gallery director, uh, about uh, the guidelines and whatnot. Yeah, very good. So uh, anything in those guidelines, Jerry, just quickly, you want to highlight that you ask of your artists or anything of that nature? No, nothing specific. It's just uh, so that they understand the process. Uh, they don't have to be here. For example, you know, we, ha we have the artists bring their art or their crafts down to the Arts Council by a certain date, and then we set up the entire uh, gallery as a shop uh, and make all the sales, and then at the end of the, the season, um, we contact them and let them know what's been sold. So they don't have to, you know, staff a booth or anything like that. Uh, and the, op the hours that the shop will be open will be November 11th through December 23rd. Fabulous. Very good, Jerry. I've got about a minute left with you, sir. Anything else you want to highlight this morning we haven't touched on yet? I wanted to mention that we have a series of music events that will happen here at the Arts Council. We have a young man who has a recording studio on our third floor, Braun Sheets at Zo Audio, and he is hosting some local music, uh, I guess, uh, reviews. Uh, the first one is September 2nd up on our third floor. Uh, it, it, we, they call it the loft now as a sort of a selling point on the third floor of our building. And there he likes to promote local music, doing uh, artists doing original music. And the three um, recording groups, mo mostly rock and pop and, uh, and uh, acoustic stuff, uh, there's three bands, Free Range Youth, Ope, sorry, and Holly G are going to be on September the 2nd, which is a Friday. Mm -hmm. um, and it's, uh, it's a free event, but he asked for donations. And it's a BYOB event as well. Very good. So put that on the calendar. Jerry, uh, i tell you what, we're out of time. How do folks, again, learn more about all the things we've touched on here this morning? You can go to DecaturArts.org or website or Facebook, Decatur Arts, Instagram, Decatur Arts. That's all you need to know if you want to find us online, Decatur Arts. That is Jerry Johnson, Executive Director of the Decatur Area Arts Council, our guest on the phone. The morning show streams to Facebook and YouTube, brought to you by Peterson Insurance, your Pekin Insurance agent in Clinton. Network news on the